We've partnered up with Appetite to bring a range of art projects throughout 2014 to UHNS and Frontline Dance is the first one of those projects. Rachel is a parent of a child who has been on Cheatham's a number of times so she'd already approached the charity to find out whether she could do a project in the hospital. Unfortunately I have to spend quite a long time in the hospital with my son because he's got scoliosis. For me it was really obvious that the days were really long for people in there. So I think it was about bringing in an excitement and just, just a relief from those situations. That five, ten minutes, half an hour of distraction of what they're there for, something to take their mind off it, so hopefully we'll take them somewhere which is not real, it's not everyday life. The dance performance has really changed the atmosphere, it's made it more light-hearted. You know people are not well, so it kind of brings a lightness to it. It takes the edge off it being a ward perhaps makes it a little bit more relaxed. The sun was shining, it was like a carnival atmosphere. Patients can often be very anxious, very nervous when they come into a ward setting, therefore they perhaps feel a little bit more um, reassured that it's not as clinical as uh, it needs to be. We think the dance performances have really made the space a warmer, more friendly, welcoming space and, and perhaps happier as well. It's, it's improved the way that people are feeling about either their experience of being in hospital or their working day. It's just one of the places where you don't expect to see it. The sort of ward that we're on, uh, a day ward, it should be more frequent and more often. We get so fed up lying here, it's nice to see something. I thought it was quite unusual actually for something to happen here like that. What sort of things do you get to keep you occupied? Nothing really, only the television. I've done that, I've sat there on a kidney machine for four hours and it's mind-numbingly boring. And this is just something a little bit different, engages them in conversation, in a bit of fun, makes the brain work. It's just past the time, it's gone so much quicker for them this afternoon. You know, we're in there 15, 20 minutes, and out of four hours, that's quite important, that, that can make a big difference. I think with the kids, They've got a huge amount out of it. They're bored, they're kids, they want to be busy, running around. As doctors and medical staff, it was our role and responsibility to get them well and get them home as quickly as we possibly could. But part of that was around our patient engagement and keeping them active in their mind and in their body. Even if they can just be pushed out or pushed into the area where this is going on, it's still something that's important for them. It'll stimulate the brain, it'll get them watching something and you know they'll be able to take something away from it. Some of the children are like really ill and like can't get out of the beds and stuff and I liked how the dancers went round the wards and did the routine for them. I think what the experience that Matthew had when he came round yesterday is a perfect example. He's been in hospital for over a week and has virtually been completely immobile and within two minutes of the uh, uh, group starting out there yesterday he was trying to sit up to watch them and he, he had a huge smile on his face and thoroughly enjoyed it yesterday and has done exactly the same again today. Really made his day. <laughs> For the parents that's wonderful isn't it? You know as a, a mum, dad we get very anxious and scared and worried about our children but for that to happen when this was going on was absolutely fantastic. So I think all of the families, all of the children that have seen this have benefited greatly. The whole room is talking about what, what happened in here yesterday when they, when they did the dance in the middle of the room. It brightens up everybody, not just the the patients, it's not the just the patients, well. it makes us feel better too, yeah, it, it brightens our day up as well. <laughs> Obviously the idea behind the whole thing is to give people a distraction and, you know, we've just experienced now with, with one guy who's just, you know, it, it's done exactly that. It's a breath of fresh air, um, it's very, very heavy to stay in the hospital for two or three days when you've got a child that's very ill. Just to have somebody come and perform. 10, 15 minutes to yourself on something very, very simple is very enlightening, uh, opens your mind. My son's just watched it with me and I got a minute brought tears to my eyes. The, there's a whole feel in the ward, everyone talking together anyway, and you can, you can talk about blood tests and different things, but when you have somebody come in and doing a dance or just something different, everyone is buzzing and it, it just brings everyone together about something other, other than, than the medical than side of things that you're here for. It's done that for us as well, hasn't it? I mean, normally we'd be doing uh, the same routine with every patient at a certain time, blood pressure monitoring, whatever. And it's just for 15 minutes, it's just, yeah, 
not forget, but <laughs> just made it more light-hearted. It's a very fast and furious pace that we now work at. I was just sat outside for a few minutes there. It's incredibly relaxing, it's very therapeutic. It's allowing a little bit of downtime. It's nice for the staff to enjoy themselves as well whilst they're working. I think they'll go home with a smile on their face. This is how I started dancing from this kind of situation because the dance company that I trained with came into the hospital where I grew up and where I was learning to walk and um, I wouldn't have danced if it hadn't been for one of these kind of projects so in that way it's like paying it back for me in a way. We know that we've touched a lot of people with this one project and we know that a lot of people have said to us when are we going to see this again, we want this, we want more of this. It was instant, it was there, you saw people's reaction, you could see um, how much they enjoyed it but also being told it was, was brilliant, it was great. I don't want this just to be a one-off event, I want it to continue and to, for people to work in partnership with us. It's nice to think that there's something like this going on, I would really think that would be a, a real bonus for them and something that should be, if, if possible, you know, something that's regular, not just a, a one-off thing. Well, how would you encourage the hospital or other hospitals to do this sort of thing? Well, first, be open to suggestions and ideas. I think, secondly, perhaps see for themselves what's happening, try it and see what effect it has. Think about it, it's a really good idea. It's been amazing, it really has been. It's the reactions from patients, from their relatives, from staff. It's amazing when you realise that what you're doing in their setting is so different to anything that normally happens there. So you're really kind of breaking um, for the people who are waiting, um, for the people who are patients. You're kind of breaking up that atmosphere a bit and creating something that's light-hearted and that's fun and that's entertaining. It's just like a little seed this project was and it's opened up so many doors um, and development has just sort of handed on a plate to me. There's so much I can do, it's great. It's lightened the atmosphere here. I'm sure that everybody's enjoyed it and appreciated the effort that's gone into it. You know, and the time that's devoted to it. Do you want them back? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs>